So someone had asked, how do you upgrade the extruder on your Anycubic Predator? And this is going to be a relatively fast video because it is a very simple process. Now, I have already changed it, so it, I can't quite remember how you remove the Titan. But because the stepper motor is directly attached to the extruder with a mounting plate, the screws have to come from the front. So there must be uh, three, potentially four, I would guess three, screws on that Titan extruder. So on the Bond Tech here, there's three. When you pull these out, the extruder simply separates from the stepper motor. It'll be loose, so just be careful with that. And depending on how it's geared, so for instance, the Bond Tech uh, being geared, it will reverse the direction of the stepper motor so if it's if it thinks it's extruding it might actually be retracting so you just need to watch for that and if that's the case you have two options you can either either change the pins here you can change them in the control board that's on the top you can't see it because I have the panel on or you can actually change it in the firmware um, either way you've got your options I chose to I think swap it on them on the main board or perhaps it was the same unsure if you come across that issue just message me and I can help you through it but once I got this attached on there the only thing I had to do was change the steps uh, per millimeter of extrusion and I did that on simplify 3d which is one of my main slicers so I'll just take you over to the computer and I'll show you how that process went If you go into your FFF settings and you navigate to scripts and then you go into starting script, the first thing I did, I've got a couple things in here that you know are specific to my machine, but the one that I've highlighted here is M92. M92 is where you're gonna is the M code to set your E steps and then you put E and how many steps it's gonna take for that Bontech extruder to or whichever extruder you're gonna use to get the uh, right amount of filament out. So for me it was relatively easy. I took exactly what Bontech had on their website. I measured it. It's exact. Things that you could do, uh, you could always change out the stepper motor for. Instead of a 1.8 degree, you could go with a 0 0.9 degree, I think. Yeah, 0 0.9 degree, in which case you would just double your E steps. Uh, other than that, the, the process is fairly straightforward. If there's anything perhaps that I missed uh, that you'd like some clarification on, just uh, let me know. Thanks. Have a great day.